My reading today continues in Mark's Gospel, chapter 14, beginning at verse 26. Peter's denial foretold. Having sung the Psalms, they left for the Mount of Olives, and Jesus said to them, You will all fall away, for it is written, I shall strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. However, after I have been raised up, I shall go before you into Galilee. Peter said, Even if all fall away, I will not. And Jesus said to him, Amen. I say to you, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he repeated still more strongly, Even if I have to die with you, I will never deny you. And they all said the same. On the face of it, today's reading from Mark's Gospel, I find quite dispiriting. Jesus tells his disciples that they will all fall away, that all will desert him, not just the betrayer, Judas. And Peter responds with blustering self-confidence and pride that, no, not I. But of course we know that that will happen. We know that Peter will fall away and deny that he knows Jesus. I'm sure that Peter had the best intentions when he exclaimed that even if the others fell away, he would not. Maybe he didn't quite believe um, that Jesus' life and ministry could be ending in this way. Peter loved Jesus, so why would he ever betray him? We too say and do things out of the best intentions. And if I had been Peter, I must admit I probably would have acted in the same way. But how quickly can circumstances change? How topsy-turvy can the world become? Where we need to perhaps evaluate our lives and what we see playing out before us. But I don't want to dwell on the negative. If we turn this passage around, I think there's a lot of positives. There's a lot of hope here. Firstly, although Jesus knows that the disciples will fall away, he knows that he will be raised up. There will be a resurrection. And he gives the disciples the hope of this. And also that he will go before them into Galilee. And Jesus gives us the same hope. And we have the benefit of hindsight that the promise of the resurrection came true. And Jesus goes before us, preparing the way in all aspects of our lives. And Peter, yes, he will deny Jesus. But he will also be restored in his relationship with him. And he will never deny him again. For Peter will become one of the founders of the church. He will tell of the good news of Jesus' death and resurrection. And in a way, Peter's words, even if I have to die with you, I will never deny you, do actually come true. Because Peter will eventually die a martyr's death, because he will never deny Jesus again. But Peter, like us, has the hope of the fulfilment of the promise of the resurrection and eternal life to come. Amen.